New Age technologies are beginning to push the envelope on what is possible in aviation. Slowly but surely, these cutting-edge technologies have begun to replace the traditional ones while inventing new applicable strategies to aerial warfare. The United States Air Force X-44 Anti-Gravit Manta is a perfect example of these new technologies with capabilities that shock the world. Will the invention of the Manta spark a global arms race? How important is the Manta X-44 in revolutionizing aviation technology? Join us as we discuss the unveiling of the new X-44 Manta that left the world in awe. The invention of the X-44 Manta has come in as a game changer, reinventing the wheel and bending the natural laws of aviation. While countries like China and Russia have remained locked in a battle over control of the greatest inventions in aviation, the United States have once again turned the tide with the invention of their multi-axis no-tail aircraft, the famed Manta. The yaw, pitch, and roll of the greatest aircraft have been at nearly a universal level. However, the invention of the Manta was deeply rooted in testing the feasibility of the full yaw, pitch, and roll of an aircraft without horizontal or vertical tailplanes. Hence, altitude control would rely on cutting-edge technology like 3D thrust vectoring, the 3D thrust vectoring is a genius invention that allows pilots to maneuver fighter jets with relative ease, owing to the deliberate adjustments made on the engine's exhaust to influence the horizontal and vertical movement of the aircraft. Aside from the Manta, other fighter jets like the F-22 Raptor and the Sukhoi Su-35 also use thrust vectoring nozzles that move in multiple directions, allowing for easy maneuverability on all axes. However, the Manta's real cutting-edge invention that has the whole aviation landscape on the edge of its seats is its anti-gravity propulsion engines, giving it the ability to travel through terrains that other aircraft wouldn't dare to go. This jet completely changes the game of aerial warfare and military discipline, creating efficient ways to render all types of anti-aircraft countermeasures completely ineffective. Imagine trying to track a fighter jet into the mesosphere the third layer of Earth's atmosphere, where temperature drops to below minus 100 degrees Fahrenheit. While it is a death trap for conventional fighter jets and other aircraft, the Manta is equipped to travel over 53 miles above the Earth without as much as a scratch. However, what led to the creation of this cutting edge technology? Like every combat aircraft, the current war or a preparation for one has always played a part. The National Aeronautics and Space Administration and the United States Air Force both recognized the need for the element of surprise in war. Hence, in 1999, they decided to collaboratively create an aircraft that no one else had ever seen. They named it the X-44A and contracted it to Lockheed Martin, one of America's greatest weapons makers, with a track record of immense quality fighter jets and stealth jets, like the F-35 Lightning II. The Manta was designed to have a reduced radar signature, hence the reason for the lack of tail and rudder surfaces. Imagine a fighter jet with so much stealth quality that it cannot be detected on radars or even sonars. This suggests that it could be in and out of enemy lines, gather intelligence and head back to base, and they would never know it was even there. It was the design of the ultimate jet. While Manta was designed with a capability never seen before in other fighter jets, the base idea for its design did not come from a vacuum. It originated from the F-22. However, the plans were more unhinged, defying almost everything we know about cutting-edge aviation technology. First, they removed the flight control surfaces, which are the movable parts on any aircraft that help the driver control how they move along the three axes, yaw, pitch, and roll. These surfaces are classified into small bits, including the rudder, which controls the vertical stabilizer on the tail fin and helps to lift the aircraft's nose without tilting. The ailerons, which move in opposite directions, helping the aircraft to move from left to right while retaining its stability. And lastly, the elevator, often found on the tail's horizontal stabilizer, which controls the aircraft's nose, helping it climb up and down without problems. Although the X-44's engine and fuselage were carried over from the F-22 Raptor, major differences included the delta wing shape and the tailless design on the X-44. While some differences between the two jets include greater fuel capacity and reduced mechanical complexity to aid easy repair, their similarities abound. 
To comprehend how revolutionary the X-44 Manta is, imagine a professional swimmer and how much depth they could attain when they go full throttle and then contrast it with a submarine, which could be used at depths that a person wouldn't dare to go, even with an oxygen tank attached right to their backs. Over the years, countermeasures have been developed based on predictable flight patterns associated with traditional aircraft. However, the Manta has a completely different flight pattern compared to traditional aircraft. Its unpredictable flight pattern is tied to its tailless design and its maneuverability capabilities. The Manta is also equipped with artificial intelligence and data processors that help it adapt its movement instantaneously to the fastest anti-aircraft attacks in the counter-aviation landscape. While Lockheed Martin has a go at one of the greatest innovations in aviation to have ever been made, the usual opponents, Russia and China, have begun to investigate new ways to create a rebuttal to America's new cutting-edge technology as they fear it might swing the military might their way, causing an imbalance that they cannot afford. Russia, known for its aerospace advancement from time immemorial, ranging from their inventions during the Great War and the Second World War, is not sitting idly by, watching the United States inevitably dominate the future of aerial combat. In a bid to even the playing field, they unveiled the Sukhoi Su-75 Checkmate, which was also designated as the light tactical aircraft. This is a single-engine, stealth fighter aircraft developed for both the country and eventually for export. Vladimir Putin, President of the Federation, was in attendance in 2021 when the non-flying prototype of this aircraft was unveiled at the MAX, an international air show held at Zhukovsky International Airport, the home of the Gromov Flight Research Institute in Zhukovsky, 40 kilometers southeast of Moscow, Russia. The Checkmate, as the name suggests, was created to be a game changer and compete with the Manta, the Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II, and China's Shenyang FC-31. Russia sees it as the pinnacle of fighter jets, with its next-level technology. The Su-75 has a diverterless supersonic inlet, otherwise called the DSI. What this means is there are fewer moving parts attached to the end of the aircraft's engine to deal with the airflow. Unlike traditional aircraft that need bulky deflectors to slow down incoming air, the Su-75 is built with a perfectly created bump on the sides to divert and also slow down the airflow before it reaches the engine while it travels at supersonic speed. The Su-75 was primarily built for combat with its big wings, which were designed to go as high as 12,000 meters or higher, taking other fighter jets beyond the stratosphere and further into the mesosphere, where they do not want to go. The aircraft bears a semblance to the Boeing X-32 aircraft's diverterless supersonic inlet with a very simple design concept. The Su-75 was designed with a very specific impenage that completely differs from the conventional tails. Instead, it is retrofitted with a V-tail that is similar to the Borthrop YF-23. Perhaps the most intriguing feature would be the addition of rudder vaders, which require more specific and sophisticated flight control systems than a conventional impenage but help the aircraft to be a bit lighter, giving more emphasis to its maneuverability, which is more optimal than having a set of elevators and a tail that separately controls the pitch and yaw when the rudder vader can just do it all. Sources close to the designers have described the Checkmate as being able to fly with a range of up to 3,000 kilometers while carrying a massive payload of 7,400 kilograms and reaching supersonic speed between Mach 1.8 to Mach 2.0. The fighter jet was also designed to carry an internal weapons bay with five missiles and an autocannon. However, the engine was designed to hit at least a Mach 2 level. Hence, it was retrofitted with the Saturn Isdelia 30 engine, an after-burning low-bypass turbofan engine being developed by NPO Saturn to succeed the Saturn AL-41F1 for improved variants of the Sukhoi Su-57, as well as new tactical fighters such as the Sukhoi Su-75 Checkmate. The Isdelia 30 is designed to be lower in weight than the earlier AL-41F1 predecessor and was up to 18% more effective. However, the existence of the Checkmate remains in doubt to many who hadn't seen it. However, Matt Bodner, a reporter at NBC News and the first person to ever see the plane, provided a point-of-view photo of the plane with its glass cockpit. Unlike the Manta, the Checkmate is ready for exportation all over the continents, including South America, Asia, and Africa. 
On top of that list are countries like Argentina, India, Vietnam, and Iran, who are the primary export destinations for the aircraft. However, other countries like Nigeria, Turkey, and Saudi Arabia remain on a waiting list, hoping to get their hands on this game changer. While the United States watches Russia's development from afar, China is close behind, sneaking into the airspace with the JXX, a next-generation stealth fighter program supported by the People's Liberation Army Air Force, often called PLAF. The J-20 saw the birth of the Chengdu J-20, a twin-engine all-weather stealth fighter developed by China's Chengdu Aircraft Corporation for the People's Liberation Army Air Force. The aircraft was a direct response to America's greatest aviation threats, including the F-35s and especially the Manta. The Chengdu J-20 is a capable fighter jet known for its long-range air-to-air missiles and the precision munitions that stay on point even at high speed. The J-20 is powered by Shenyang WS-10, an afterburner turbofan engine manufactured by Shenyang Liming Aircraft Engine Company, which reportedly enables supercruise and high maneuverability, a huge feature of the Manta. However, while the Chinese created the Chengdu J-20, a possible game-changing and revolutionary aircraft, its capabilities could only give the F-22 Raptor and the F-35 Lightning II real competition, as its other features paled in comparison to the Manta's anti-gravity and the implications of its tailless feature. However, China remains in a race against time and skill to level the playing field against the United States Manta. While the Manta has given the United States a huge lead in this global arms race, nations like China and Russia have never been known to give up on a challenge to be at the summit of the war in aviation technology. In recent years, China has been publishing articles on gravitational manipulation and propulsion in aviation. However, with Beijing continuously funding the Aviation Department and the JXX program, it is only a matter of time until China catches on. However, questions linger still. Will the JXX be enough to catch up to the United States' state-of-the-art technology on the Manta? If they do eventually figure out anti-gravity technology alongside other superpowers like Russia and the United Kingdom, imagine the type of aerial warfare we might be experiencing. Could we be looking at a war that exceeds the skies and goes right into space? However, the implications of this level of improvement in aviation technology remain unknown. While the military is the main beneficiary of these cutting-edge technologies, is there a chance that it cuts across commercial aviation? Imagine cruising through a higher altitude beyond the atmosphere during every flight and the type of view that comes with it. While the release of the Manta has dominated the aviation landscape and sparked a showdown between top countries who are looking to outdo one another, the Manta's implications go way further than that. It has ushered in the age of artificial intelligence as an important part of evolving aviation across the globe. While wars in the past, like the Cold War, have explored the importance of creating groundbreaking technology and weapons of mass destruction. Like the long bombs, New Age technology explores not only anti-gravity systems and carrier-based systems, but also, more importantly, the unmanned aircraft, often referred to as unmanned aerial vehicles, otherwise called the UAV. Warcraft has always been about intelligence gathering, stealth and reconnaissance before every other step is taken. Hence, it was always a norm that scouts were sent out as spies behind enemy lines, who figured out the enemy's plans and reported back to base. While some men were immense at their job, others got caught and were either sentenced to death or a lengthy prison term as seen with the Rosenbergs, who were caught spying in the United States and sent by Russia. The brothers were sentenced to death in 1953. Wars have always had a way to bring out the worst and the best in man, ranging from disillusionment to making some of the greatest weapons ever seen. The consistent loss of good men to a good cause sparked a need, and hunger and an urgency to create the perfect intelligence, stealth and reconnaissance popularly dubbed ISR-capable aviation projects, birthing the need for programs like the JXX and the United States contracting Lockheed Martin or Northrop Grumman, yielding some of the greatest unmanned carrier and non-carrier-based aircrafts. However, the introduction of the Manta completely shattered the landscape. The Manta is an unmanned aircraft capable of immense intelligence gathering, surveillance, and reconnaissance missions. One of its many features 
which put it in an indomitable space as an ISR-capable aircraft, is its ability to not only fly at a much higher altitude than most other aircraft, but also have the ability to also perform strike missions on a whim if required, owing to its autonomous weapon system and its artificial intelligence feature, giving it a chance to assess a threat from live data that are immediately processed into information which it could act on. Unlike the traditional aircraft, which remain controlled by a pilot, the Manta has new age artificial intelligence installed on it, meaning that actions can be carefully predicted based on a couple of zeros and ones, and if the numbers are right, strike option can be activated. All this while out of sight and beyond the stratosphere, where conventional aircraft and anti-aircraft can operate from. Its heavy payload is unequivocally dispersed and guided by a new age tracking system and assisted by artificial intelligence to direct it towards even moving targets. Just picture an aircraft flying at 1,740 miles per hour, moving silently and firing its weapons, catching the enemy off guard and already on its way back to base before it is noticed. However, here comes reality. While the Manta is amazing, it almost takes away all human essence from its functionality. Hence, questions linger about a super reliance on artificial technology and the worst it could do to the human race. While the Manta is a human-made aircraft and a pre-designed weapons discharge, authorized by collecting enough data for risk assessment, eliminating a threat with missiles and other payloads attached to the hardware seems like overkill to experts in the world who have discussed the importance of artificial intelligence and its detriments. For some context, just less than a decade ago, autonomous robotic weapons were proposed as the next stage of human in the development of artificial intelligence by some of the world's leading robotics and artificial intelligence pioneers, who were calling on the United Nations to indulge them in a practice of creating killer robots controlled by artificial intelligence. While its advantages include the preservation of human lives, at least for those who could afford these killer robots, the cons heavily outweigh the merits. While many top scientists shied away from the discussion, Tesla's Elon Musk and Alphabet's Mustafa Suleiman rose gallantly to the occasion, speaking up against exploring an idea that we do not completely understand, even as scientists. The United Nations had reportedly voted to discuss the situation. However, before the set date for a discussion with the pioneers of this idea, Elon Musk and other groups of artificial intelligence and robotics companies wrote an open letter to the United Nations, expressing their utter displeasure at the idea and anger towards the United Nations for even considering the topic as worth being discussed. Their letter exposed their fear towards ushering in the third phase of evolution in Warcraft, going from gunpowder to nuclear weapons and now self-controlled killer robots. Isn't that jump a bit too high? Once developed, Lethal autonomous weapons will permit armed conflict to be fought at a scale greater than ever and at time scales faster than humans can comprehend. These can be weapons of terror, weapons that despots and terrorists use against innocent populations, and weapons hacked to behave in undesirable ways. We do not have long to act. Once this Pandora's box is opened, it will be hard to close, the founders said. While the battle for these robots of mass destruction raged on and on between the pioneers and the eggheads who raised the point as the solution, the world united against it, and the United Nations dismissed the issue entirely. Such is the case for the Manta, but imagine it on an even bigger scale. First, it would not be a grounded weapon like the killer robots proposed in 2014, but will be in the sky and able to travel in space armed with weapons and artificial intelligence that decides what a threat is or not. While the United States might have created a whole new solution to intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, and strike-capable aircraft, it remains to be seen if the world stays happy with having an autonomous aircraft in the sky, which decides what a threat is on its own. Thanks for watching. While you are still here, click on the link on your screen to check out another of our videos. See you there.